In tonight's national news, Ross Perot, the self-made billionaire from Texas who made two bids for the White House, has died at the age of 89. Chuck Todd reports. The self-made man from Texarkana. The party's over and it's time for the cleanup crew. Henry Ross Perot founded Electronic Data Systems in 1962 with a $1,000 check, later selling the company to General Motors and becoming an early tech billionaire. In 1992, he catapulted into national politics. If you want to register me in 50 states, number one, I'll promise you this, between now and the convention, we'll get both parties' heads straight. The most successful third-party candidate since Teddy Roosevelt 1912 to this day Bush and Clinton supporters debate who Perot hurt more in 1992. And you don't care about anything but making money, there will be a giant sucking sound going south. At a time when public trust in government was lower than during Watergate, Perot appealed to a group of disenchanted voters on one issue, the deficit, selling his message with folksy charisma. As I've said before, it's time to take out the trash and clean out the barn. TV appearances. Look out, George Bush! Here comes H. Ross Perot. And infomercials. That's what we could have done with $4 trillion if we hadn't wasted it. Perot could be combative. You have said, Wait, you have said that part of your $40 now, billion well, deficit reduction also told your is $180 today. billion. Dollars. Yes, may I finish? May I finish? It was a simple question. Well, you've already finished. Uh, well, go I'll, and finish I'll, again. Let's, let's, it's your please, program. Please. It's your program. You can do anything you want to with it. Go yeah, ahead. But his message stuck. He won nearly 20 million votes and became a pop culture phenomenon. The deficit, see, the deficit is like a crazy ant down in the basement, no one paying attention to her. And she is just getting on rear and stink here. You catch me? Although he finished third both in 92 and in 1996, Perot's ability to appeal to political outsiders, his personal wealth, and populist campaigns, particularly on the issue of trade, was a forerunner to Donald Trump. I'm putting up my own money. I don't know if it's ever happened. I guess Russ Perot put up his money. A graduate of the Naval Academy, Perot was honored with the Medal for Distinguished Public Service for his work on behalf of POWs. And these men have great value to their wives, their children, and their parents. His life defined by his favorite motto, inspired by Winston Churchill. Never give in, never give in, never, never, never and his love for the Lone Star State. I was Texas born, Texas bred, and Texas kind of raised, and when I die, I'll be Texas dead.